Hey, what's up guys? Ali from MySocialU.com and welcome back to my channel. So what's the best tool for content curation in 2019 and beyond? And you know, I recently discovered this tool called eLink and it has become one of my favorite tools, one of my go-to tools when it comes to curating content for email, newsletters, sometimes for social media. And also you can make curated content pages for your website. So that's the topic of today's video. And before we jump into the demo, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notifications of all of the future videos from my channel. All right, so let's do a quick demo of this tool. So first of all, here's the URL, elink.io. So make sure you save it, make sure you bookmark this. And what this does is you turn website links into beautiful content in minutes. So imagine, it's a tool you can collect web links from different sources your favorite blogs your youtube channels other sources and then bring them together into one place and that could be your weekly newsletter that could be something that you put in your instagram bio link or other places so it's a really cool tool that helps you curate content and how can you use it you can create email newsletters and by the way i think i believe it's the fastest tool if you want to create an email newsletter it's a really really fast way to do it you can create website content you can create a smart instagram bio link so imagine you create a link for your instagram bio where you can have your latest uh, youtube video your latest blog article maybe you were featured on forbes.com you can bring that in so you can really bring links from all over the web into one place and then you can create single web pages. Uh, save and collect any type of web content. They're amazing layouts. Yes, they're mobile layouts too. And then you can share those into multiple ways. All right, let's log in and let me show you what this looks like. Yes, there is a Chrome extension. So you can, as you are browsing web and coming across different uh, type of content, you can save that content on the go all right so let me log in and then i'll show you what this looks like from the inside i believe i there you go yay awesome i'm in all right so this is what this looks like dashboard different posts that you create so anything that you create inside this tool uh, it's called posts here's the library of different uh, items web links that i have curated or collected and then you can also add different feeds so if you have favorite blogs or youtube channels you can add the rss feed here let me show you here is a post that i recently created so it's a weekly email newsletter and this is what it looks like. So logo on the top, social media marketing scoop, and then it has uh, you know recent news, Instagram dark mode um, from two different sources and also the link to my YouTube video, right? So really, really cool. And I'm actually, I'm actually gonna show you or walk you through the process of creating something like this really quickly. So actually, let's do that right now. So I'm gonna go back to the dashboard and let's create a brand new post and you can choose a template or you can start from scratch let's do start from scratch and let's add some links so let's go so let's say i want to create a email newsletter and i want to include my recent youtube video there's my youtube channel I'll copy this link. Let's go back. So it's a four step process. You add the links, then you uh, update your header, then you select layout, and then you change your settings. So let's edit this. And I will delete this. There you go. So it looks really, really clean. I probably should select another one, but I think for the purpose of this video, let's roll with this let's do another link from my favorite social media examiner 
So you see how I'm, I'm curating content, saving content from different sources. I don't have the Chrome extension installed, but if you do, you can do this in, in just seconds. That looks great. Let's bring another from these guys. Let's go back. And you can add as many as you want. And um, obviously you can move these things, I believe. There you go. Let's say I want to put my YouTube link up front. Uh, you can also edit the title, description, any labels that you want to change. And then let's go to the next up header. So this is where you can add your um, header image. Let's find, I believe I should have a simple logo. Let's see. If use that so you can really brand your and then for for the header I'm just gonna say weekly social media scoop And then you can add anything that you like in the, the body too, right? And you see how, let me resize this. This is what this looks like. All right, All right so our step number one was we added links. Step number two was we kind of designed it. We put our branding or logo and then added some text. Uh, you can also personalize and add your profile like this. The next one is layout and there's so many amazing choices. So you can really, you know, pick anything that you like. And what I would say, if you do this on a regular basis, let's say weekly or bi-weekly newsletter, I would say just pick one format and then stick with it. So that way when your target audience, they, when they get the content from you, they get used to your logo, your branding, the way you do things, the, the way your um, newsletter is arranged. So they'll get used to it and they'll remember you. All right, next thing. So I'm gonna click on settings and then this is where, I, by the way, I'm gonna, right now it's untitled, so I'm just gonna say, yeah, I'll just call it two because I already created actually. There you go. And this is another awesome um, area. So basically you can change the settings. So you can, let's say if you wanna custom design it, you can pick different colors. So you see how all of this is changing. So depending on your brand colors, you can definitely uh, customize this. You can also change the text color, the background color. It's just a lot of amazing. If you like the dark mode, how cool is that? I should change the text color too. All right, let's go back to this. Heading fonts of you, you can definitely uh, go with your brand fonts. Make sure everything is the way you want it, right? All right, so when you are done with adding links, header, layout, and then settings, and then hit publish. And now, see how here I had one newsletter and now I have two. Weekly newsletter two is the one we just created. So it's added to my dashboard under posts and here are all of your share settings. So you can share this to your social media marketing channels uh, or you can use this URL and send it to different people. You can embed this on your website. You can embed the, the URL and look at let me actually go back so if you want to send this uh as an email newsletter so i'll hit send email uh newsletter and then look at this so you can connect your mailchimp which is tool a lot of people use you can send it using your gmail and you can also uh let's say if you're working with a web developer or you have a team that handles your email uh, communication you can send this the html export to them and then it works with a lot of different tools Active campaigns, AWeber, Constant Contact, uh, Contact, 
uh, get response, you name it. Like, I believe they have all the major ones here. So what an easy way to curate content from different sources, make it relevant to your audience, and then you can share it on your social media. You can share it on your website use it by embedding it, or you can send it as an email newsletter. So very, very powerful tool. Do sign up. I believe it's a freemium, so you don't have to pay just to use it. So they do have a paid plan. So if you like it and if you want all the bells and whistles, you can definitely check out the paid plans as well. But elink.io is the, uh, the website URL. Thank you so much for watching. Before you go, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon. And I will see you in the future videos. Bye.